Welcome back everyone to a new unboxing video. Today I want to share with you my unboxing of the new iPad 10.2 inch 2021 model. The model that was just released this year with the iPhone 13. In this video I'm going to show you the content of the box. I'm going to look at iPad OS 15 and try to establish how performance looks like. And finally I'm going to compare it to the its closest um, model in the iPad portfolio which is the iPad Air from last year which I happens to be using as my daily iPad. We're going to compare um, screen sizes, screen brightness, um, and um, app launches and um, such things. So let's get started. First impression is that this box still comes with plastic. If you've noticed, uh, if you watched iPhone 13 unboxings, plastic is already gone. It seems that Apple is just sticking around with plastic on the iPad packs for now. Okay, we're gonna get our first look at the content of the box. First one is the iPad itself. Let's leave this on the side for a sec. Paperwork, probably quick start guide. So let's see if it comes with Apple stickers. Yeah. Some Apple stickers if you're interested in that. And most importantly, the 20, I believe this is a 20 watt. Yeah, 20 watt European power brick. And a USB-C to lightning uh, cable. This is the one uh, advantage actually I see with this iPad is that if you're coming from an iPhone, um, it's handy to still have the lighting board, even if it's still uh, it's kind of backwards and not compatible with where the industry is going. But from a pure iPhone's user point of view, I think this is, um, quite useful because you don't have to think about different uh, ports and different cables. So that's good if you're coming from iPhone. Let's have a look at the iPad itself now. So first impression that this is really light, I think as light or even lighter than my iPad Air 2020. This is the 64 gigabyte Wi-Fi model. Uh, so it's the, the entry level. And a uh, quick look at the design, you can see here the lighting port and two speaker grills. Really love this graphite or like space gray color. Here is your camera, still flush. Volume buttons, power buttons at the top. And one of the other big advantages of this model is the 3.5 millimeter uh, jack. So that's useful. And your home button is your fingerprint reader as well. Okay, now I've set it up. Let's have a quick look at iPad OS 15. Um, this comes out of the box, and I can see that the performance is quite acceptable. Like, look, let's look at maps, for example. So I can swipe like that, turn around. Let's say you can go here. It's quite quite quick reaction. And of course you get these widgets with iPad OS 15 now. Also the app library now with iPad OS 15. Uh, so you can, uh, for example, if you don't, if you don't need um, this app on your screen, you can actually delete it from the home screen and it will stay in the library. So if you say remove app, it will uh, still be found in the library here. Now let's have a look at uh, the new iPad next to the iPad Air 2020. First we're going to have a um, design comparison and then we'll look at screen and performance. They are fairly the same size and um, the volume rockers are in the same place. You can see that the iPad Air is adopting this new design with um, um, camera sticking, camera mode is sticking out while here it's still flush power button at the same time of course that your fingerprint reader on the iPad is air here while in the iPad 10.2 is on the home button. Um, and then of course the big difference is that the iPad Air on the left is using USB-C while um, iPad is using lightning port. Maximum brightness of both. 
let me know what you think. Um, probably the iPad Air is slightly brighter. But I think the new iPad is it, it, it's still bright enough for, for me. Um, the big difference you will not hear is the bezels, of course. Comparable. The, the side bezels are comparable. Um, top and bottom bezels are... Um, um, you can easily see the difference. Let's do a couple of um, app launches to see how they both respond. Um, so if we do a camera, for example. Let's try one more time. That's it's pretty close. And if we go to clock, for example. Actually, the regular iPad was a bit quicker. Let's try again. And then if we look at settings, again, actually, the regular iPad was a bit quicker. Let's try again. And then now I want to try um, to launch every website like Yahoo Finance. Again, the regular regular iPad was again quicker. That is really surprising. Let's try with a, another site like GSM Arena, for example. Okay, one, two. That was comparable. Very similar. App Store one more time. You can see here that this is still new. Let's do the App Store. Very comparable. Hey everyone, this has been our first look at the new iPad 10.2 next generation. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe for more content and see you in another video.